when I was growing up, there was no dedicated art class. Most of the time, I got told by my teachers to not draw in class. It was time for math, it was time for reading, not to be drawing. Around sixth grade, we got these little notebooks to write our journal in, and I just filled it up with drawings. Lost a lot of recess because of that. That was how it was for me. I had to kind of rough it and sneak all of these things to get my feel of art. My name is Bobby Brown. I am a graduate student majoring in art. By the authority granted to me by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby invest you, Dr. Saul Jimenez Sandoval, with the office of president of California State University, Fresno. <laughs> Investiture comes from vestire in Latin, which means dress. And it's when somebody gets robed to take on the role of president in our case. It's the ceremonial charge that both the system and the community uh, give the president to move forth with a vision that is going to better not just the university, but the community as a whole as well. At other investitures, it's common to give something away. In this case, I wanted something very meaningful so that those who came to the investiture and went away with a piece of art, they're able to be inspired by the message that is being conveyed, but also by the importance of Fresno State and the importance of our students as well. Should I get my sketchbook? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and get your, yeah, yeah. Um, so I hadn't really thought about a formal way to, to like, we start with. I know that Crystal's got an uh, image. She's printed out on her computer, and uh, David's got sketches. I think you, Aaron, brought your yeah. iPad. So we've we got a mix of media okay, for you to, good. to look at images yeah, on. Yeah, that's um, I always say this, you know, to Mariana and my kids. When I grow up, yeah. I want to do lithographs. It's a very complicated and very technical field. And I just love how the multiple facets of color and of design come into view and at the end make something that can be produced for a large quantity of people. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got the idea when you told us about things coming, people coming together to make California yeah. what it is. Yeah. I was at my, I work at a school called Williams Elementary, uh -huh. and we usually come up with activities for the kids to do at recess, so I got the chalk out and started drawing Pokemon and a bunch of stuff on the blacktop. <laughs> on the and blacktop? Yeah. With the kids around you? Yeah, and they joined in like instantly and wanted to do their own thing. And That's great. They were like all coming together and just working on this piece yeah. that we were doing for recess, and I immediately pictured a tree. The meaning behind it was um, showing kids drawing their dreams. The composition, I wanted to reflect a tree going downward, but to the imagination, this is just the grass and those are the roots and this is the tree. So their dreams are fueling the tree and the tree is growing because they're dreams. And it's just like an endless thing that happens like the Mobius strip. Right, it's the yellow for the stars, but it's the green for nature. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what was your thinking around that? I used the yellow and the green to make the stars look kind of neon, uh -huh. so they can have like that glow around them. Yeah. But also I used them for the kids to have them basically be coming from the stars. Because they're stars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like they're coming together and they're just making this right, tree. Right. And it's basically as if they are the things fueling right, the right, tree because right. they're drawing it. They totally so, are. And each one of them got like a magic piece of chalk in their hands. Right, right and they're making things like butterflies and yeah. I don't know what else they could come up with. I work as a noontime assistant at Williams Elementary. My first experience working there was during a pandemic and the one thing I really loved and enjoyed is when a student called me teacher and I was like, I think I want to do this. I never wanted to work with children ever and I never thought I would and then I go there and it's like a complete 180. When you're a child, a lot of the realities of life are kind of shielded from you. And with them drawing and stuff, you get to see what really goes on in their head. And they talk about it. They be honest about it. We just get them more imaginative, get them more hopeful, or keep them hopeful. I'm up early in the morning, and I do a lot of things throughout my day, but the other things I gotta do, I dread. And I think drawing is my escape, and art is my escape, so 
it's just something that I think was born with me. <laughs> the conventional things are very boring and the unconventional things make me excited. I think just to come up with the drawing and color it and everything, it took me about 16 hours so far, but this is actually pushing me over a little bit, the separation of colors. I expect it to climb up to at least 30 hours of work on it, if the printing process don't go as smooth. But with Matt helping me, I don't think we'll have too much trouble. Matthew Hobson Walker. <laughs> I gotta say his name because he's infamous around here. <laughs> he's the most famous professor, to, in my opinion. He's also a constant guidance person for me. I go to him when I need advice. And strangely, he helped me get around town. He got me a bike to use during my time here. And he just always be there for us when we need him. I think I met Bobby pretty early on upon my arrival at Fresno State in 2018. You know, already at that point I could tell that Bobby could, was a really good drafts person. But I think the thing that really has changed in the last year or two since Bobby got into the graduate program is that he's really matured um, in how he's using the different symbolism in his work. And I think that was what the nice thing about seeing him do this project. It, in a way, it, to me, it looks very visually similar to some of the other prints he's designed or images that he's worked on. But it is very, you know, he was very sensitive to what Saul was sort of asking for but also kind of brought himself to it. I think, you know, working with school-age kids, you sort of transitioned from, you know, being just a student to also being kind of a mentor of sorts to younger people. And I think whether, you know, it's obvious or not, it's changing him in a way as an artist and as a person. And I think that that's been really interesting to see. When it came time to design the images that would represent my presidency, I immediately thought of the immense creativity I witnessed in our own students. The original investiture artwork that you will receive on your way out reflects who we are as a community. I wanted the community to become aware again of the great creativity that our students represent. I felt that it was important to showcase the most important reason why the university exists is not so that a president can be president. It's so that students can come, can learn, and can become the best versions of themselves. In the beginning, I thought it was just gonna be something that hung up on a wall in the president's office or something, but I now know that I'm a part of the history of the school forever. It just gave me something that's a legacy now, something that's gonna stick around for a while. Art has become a way to persevere and preserve myself and to get through certain problems that I go through throughout the day and also to get me a little more comfortable with how finite life is. You don't live forever, but whatever I leave behind will stay forever. <laughs>